It's brilliant. It's an exceptionally clever and profound paper. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for sending it to me. What did your boss think? Bob? Now, Bob said he would pitch you for other jobs with some of his friends in the city. That's how much he was impressed. This could lead to something big for you. He's asking me how many other friends I have hidden away who can write like you. Yeah? Yeah. Well, thanks for the compliment. He can't run that essay with my real name, Anna. We've got a new dean at the college and he's very nice and very supportive and very Catholic. We're all being drugged back into the dark ages. But quite frankly, we need your essay. This is far and above what we normally get. Forget it. I'll... I don't know. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll submit it somewhere else. Come on, Sam. Stop running away from this. If you asked anyone what they thought about a smart, articulate, gay political science teacher... Would you keep your voice down? ...who in this day and age, in this part of the world, chooses of his own free will to stay hidden in the closet, well, most of them would say, there's no such thing. But this is what you're doing because someone at a Catholic college is offering you a free lunch. Well, maybe you shouldn't have asked me to write you something in the first place. Maybe you should have begged an essay from some other gay friend. I'll just take my essay and submit it to a magazine that doesn't have your self-righteous mission to out every gay man in the world. You can't. I'll submit it wherever I like. We are running the essay. It's going to print on Monday. That's why I wanted to talk to you today. I don't... You can't print without a contract. I haven't signed anything. I'll sue you so fast, your head will spin. We're not running it as a feature. It's in our op-ed section. What? All submissions to our op-ed department immediately becomes property of the magazine. You bitch. I sent it to you as a feature. I'm not the feature's editor. You know that. No, but you are supposed to be my friend. And I got Bob to cut you a cheque for the essay. We don't normally pay for the op-ed. Anna, please, I'm begging you. Tell Bob it was all a big mistake. Tell him that it isn't an op-ed. It's too good an essay for us not to run it. I've been waiting for a paper like this. This is going to make a difference. And you're not the only one with a mortgage, Sam. You asked me to send... You said you... Why are you doing this to me? Jesus. In the grand scheme of things, this has very little to do with you.